Hey guys, my name is Hannah and welcome to Bookmas Day 5. Since it's Christmas time, which is a time for giving and for being thankful, I've decided to show you guys a list of books that I am thankful for, whether the reasons are big or small or somewhere in between. Just books that I am glad exist and I'm glad that I've read and I've had the opportunity to have. Let me just say quickly that this list should be way longer, but for the sake of this video and you guys not having to watch an hour long video, I've decided to cut it down quite significantly. But these are the main books that I am very thankful for. So without further ado, let's get started. Now let's just get the obvious one out of the way first, and that is Throne of Glass. I am so thankful for Throne of Glass for sparking my love for reading. Without this book and this series, I would not be where I am today. I would not have the same passion and love for reading. I wouldn't have the same friends that I've made. I wouldn't have a booktube channel. I'd still have a YouTube channel, not a booktube one though. And let me just say that I prefer this so much more. I prefer talking about books on my channel than just random things. I'll give a quick synopsis of each book. I've actually remembered to do that this time. Usually I forget. Throne of Glass is about an 18 year old girl called Zena Sardothian who is her continent's most renowned and famous assassin. She has been training to be an assassin since she was eight years old but she makes the fatal mistake of getting caught one day and she gets sent to the salt mines to work basically until she dies. She has been there for a year when this book starts when the crown prince and the captain of the guard come and offer her an opportunity for her freedom by taking part in a competition to become the king's champion. This book was so good and so interesting but the story develops so much over the course of the series. Some people don't really enjoy that as much but I absolutely love where the story went. I cannot wait until the last book and I am so thankful for this series. The next book is The Infernal Devices and this is the trilogy that I read after Throne of Glass. So my second jump into reading basically. I am thankful for this book not only for the story but quite simply for Will Herondale. <laughs> If you haven't heard of the Infernal Devices or you've heard of them and you don't really know what they're about, these are set before the Mortal Instruments. Both series are by Cassandra Clare. They are about shadow hunters who hunt demons. This book follows Tessa Gray, a girl from England during the Victorian era, and she gets sucked into the shadow hunter world when she discovers she has these powers. It follows her crazy story over the course of the three books, and she meets a bunch of people along the way. I would 100% recommend this book to anybody who wants to have a go at fantasy. Seriously, I love it. And I think that you will too. The third book on this list that I am thankful for is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Really, really quite simply, I am thankful for this book for making me happy. I was in Australia when I read this book and obviously being in Australia on this amazing holiday, I was already so incredibly happy. But I was on a three hour boat trip into the sea to go swim at the Great Barrier Reef. Quite crazy, I know. It was three hours into the sea and three hours back. And during that time I read this book, it just made me so incredibly happy, even happier than I was at the time, which I think is quite a feat. I'll never forget how this book shocked me. I did not think in the slightest that I would like this book, but now it is one of my favourites. I have also read The Skies Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I did like that one, but this one I loved. <laughs> I'll Give You the Sun is about these two twins called Noah and Jude. When they are younger, they are practically inseparable. They are so close, but then this tragedy happens and it completely splits them apart. The thing that I didn't think that I would like in this book is the layout and the structure of it. There are, I think, five or six really long chapters and each chapter is from the point of view of a different twin. So it goes from Noah's point of view, then Jude, then Noah, then Jude, then so on and so forth. But Noah's chapters are set when he is 13 and Jude's are set when she is 16 so you go back and forth between them when they're younger and them when they're older. I know that I said this book made me happy but it's also so sad. You see everything that Noah wants to do when he's younger and then it all just gets completely destroyed in the next chapter really and then you go back to all his hopes and dreams and you know what's gonna happen and what's not and it's just it really breaks you. Despite all that it still made me incredibly incredibly happy in the end. I'm just so thankful for it. The fourth fourth book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> this book, where do I start? Also for making me happy every step of the way whilst reading this, especially from page 153 where Baz comes into the story full time. This book was just hilarious and it was so fun to read. I loved it. I actually did a read with me vlog on my channel of the journey of me reading this book. I'm pretty sure I'm smiling the whole way through that. Apart from when I get a little bit angry at a particular character but no spoilers. <laughs> and also it's got a map so I mean you can never go wrong with a map. Carry On is kind of you could say a spin-off in a way 
of Harry Potter is basically drarry fanfiction. So we've got Simon Snow and Tyrannus Basilton Grimpitch, also known as Baz. You can just assume that Simon Snow is Harry and Baz is Draco. It's just such an adorable story of them going to a wizarding school and they've got such a cool magic system. It's just really lovely. The more I look at my bookshelf whilst filming this, the more I feel bad for not including other books. But no, this is my second to last book on this list. Otherwise, this video will be too long. And that book is Six of Crows by Lee Bardigo. I I am so obsessed with this duology. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, so good. Especially, I'd like to thank Lee Bardigo for the beautiful, beautiful person that is Kaz Brecker and the beautiful ship of Kaz Brecker and Inej. Yup, just this duology. <sighs> A little bit about this book. Kaz Brecker, the what you could call main character. There are practically six main characters, but I still think that he is the, he is just a bit more important than the others. More so in the first book than in the second one. Here's what the blurb calls a criminal prodigy. He gets offered a ton of money in order to break into the ice court, which is a military stronghold which has never been breached. <laughs> he has to retrieve a hostage and get out alive in order to collect his reward. He decides to bring together a team of six criminals to try and break into the ice court and it is such an incredible story of adventure, mischief, action and it's so good and the backstories of the characters and just all the characters especially Kaz and you know, all. And last but not least the final book on this list is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Forter. I'm thankful for this book because it introduced me to the new and beautiful writing style that Maggie Steve Forter has. I've never read anything like it. I love the portrayal of friendship in this book and characters are so amazing and the amazing ship that is Adam Parrish and Ronan Lynch. Yes. <laughs> this book, this story, there are four books in total, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Raven King. Rather than trying to explain this book in my own words. I'm just going to read the blurb for you because I think that this explains it pretty well. Even if Blue hadn't been told, her true love would die if she kissed him. She would still stay away from boys, especially the ones from the local private school. Known as Raven Boys, they only mean trouble. But this is the year that everything will change for Blue. This is the year that she will be drawn into the strange and sinister world of the Raven Boys, and the year Blue will discover that magic does exist. This is the year that she will fall in love. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the thing that I love about this is that normally you would read this is the year that she will fall in love and you'd be like oh just another lovey lovey love story but because you've been told that her true love will die if she kisses him that just makes it a lot more intense. I haven't read any of Maggie Steve Waters other books and I do plan on reading Scorpio Races I think that's what it's called. These books will always have a special place in my heart I'm so thankful for them so thank you so much Maggie Steve Waters for writing such amazing books and yeah I guess that is it. Like I said before, I wish I could include so many more books in this video. Unfortunately, I can't. Maybe one day I'll make a part two. That would be really interesting. And I have so many more books I would love to talk about. But for now, I guess that is it. All of my social media will be linked down below. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the next day of Bookmas. Bye!